Hello. In this lesson, we're going to look at the derivatives of the sine and cosine functions. Let's consider first the function sine of x. So we will denote the function y equals sine of x. Then what we need to determine is its derivative, so dy dx. As we know from the first chapter, we can calculate the derivative of every function using the first principle definition of the derivative. So hopefully you remember how that uh, formula looked like. It was limit when h approaches 0 from our function sine of x plus h minus sine of x over h. So we're going to start by expanding this sine of x plus h. As we know, we have a formula for that. Limit as h approaches 0. This sine of x plus h is going to become sine of x cosine of h plus cosine of x sine of h minus and we keep that minus sine of x and everything over h again. You notice that we have a common factor. We can uh, factor out this sine of x. That's exactly what we're going to do in the next step. We're going to continue with limit when h approaches 0. From sine of x, I factor this out. I'm going to be left with cosine of h minus 1 plus the term that is left is cosine of x sine of h. Again, everything over h. Now we want to separate this fraction into two fractions to simplify it. Uh, we're going to say limit when h approaches 0. So we're going to continue with sine of x times cosine of h minus 1 over h plus cosine of x sine of h over h. We can do that. Now based on the properties of the limits, we know that uh, the limit of a sum is the sum of the limits. So we're going to have limit when h approaches 0 from sine of x cosine of h minus 1 over h plus limit when h approaches 0 from cosine of x, sine of h over h. You notice now that the limit is in regards to h, so when h approaches 0. But there is nothing mentioned there about x. Therefore, sine of x and cosine of x in uh, either one of those limits, we can consider it as a constant multiple. We can continue to say that expression is going to equal further to sine of x times limit when h approaches 0 from cosine of h minus 1 over h plus I'm going to factor out cosine of x here so it's going to be cosine of x times limit when h approaches 0 from sine of h over h so at this stage there isn't uh, much more we can do other than evaluate the limits and uh, we know that this limit when h approaches 0 from sine of h over h is going to be 1 while limit when h approaches 0 from cosine of h minus 1 over h is going to be 0. And how do we know that? You may wonder. If we plot the graph of these functions and evaluate their limits at a given uh, value. From the plot of the function sine of h over h we can see that when h approaches 0 from the left and from the right the values of the functions approach 1. Therefore, the limit of this function when h approaches 0 is going to be 1. The same way for the function cosine of h minus 1 over h, we see that when h approaches 0 from the left and from the right also the function approaches 0. Therefore, the limit of this function when h approaches 0 is going to be equal to 0 as well. We can continue to say that it's equal to sine of x times 0 plus cosine of x times 1, which is equal to cosine of x. So in conclusion, we say that the derivative of a function sine of x is equal to cosine of x. And this is an algebraic approach to determine the derivative of function sine of x. In the same manner, let's actually consider the function y equal cosine of x and determine the derivative of this function. So the derivative of cosine of x, using the first principle definition of the derivatives, is going to be limit when h approaches 0 from cosine of x plus h minus cosine of x over h. In the same manner, we're going to expand this uh, cosine of uh, a sum into cosine of x cosine of h minus sine of x sine of h and we keep that minus cosine of x everything over h. 
we notice that we can uh, factor out the cosine of x so we're going to continue writing the limit limit as h approaches 0 from cosine of x factored out times cosine of h minus 1 and we keep the term that was uh, above so minus sine of x sine of h everything over h now we're gonna want to separate this uh, fraction into two separate smaller fractions so we're gonna continue saying limit as h approaches 0 from cosine of x cosine of h minus 1 over h minus the other fraction would be sine of x sine of h over h since the limit of a difference is also the difference of the limits we're gonna continue saying that limit as h approaches 0 from cosine of x times cosine of h minus 1 over h minus limit when h approaches 0 from sine of x sine of h over h just as before the limit doesn't affect cosine of x or sine of x therefore we're gonna take them out of the limit so we're gonna say cosine of x times limit as h approaches 0 from cosine of h minus 1 over h minus sine of x times limit as h approaches 0 from sine of h over h we already know what this limit is equal to limit uh, of sine of h over h as h approaches 0 is going to be 1 while the other one limit as h approaches 0 from cosine of h minus 1 over h it's going to be 0 and we know one method to determine that already I'm going to replace those values as well and say that it's equal to cosine of x times 0 minus sine of x times 1 in other words is equal to minus sine of x with that we can conclude that the derivative of the function cosine of x is equal to minus sine of x and with this we determine the derivatives of the sine and cosine functions in an algebraic fashion thanks for watching